This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. There has been this interesting development where GPT for all team has released a large language model based on GPT-J, okay, which is an open source assistant. Okay, so and the best part is that they have also released the Windows, Mac OS and Ubuntu installers. So you can download these installers on your system, install GPT for all J chat UI and then you can work with it. Okay. So I download the Windows installer as I have a Windows machine. And then, uh, you know, this is the UI of GPT for all model. The model is GPT for all J. Okay. This is based on GPT for uh, GPT J. Uh, and this is based on Apache 2.0 license. So you can use it. Previously, it was based on Llama. And for that, you need to actually get the weights from Meta. But here you can um, use it, okay, because it's based on GPT uh, J, okay. So here I said, uh, tell me about yourself to the mod uh, to the model, and it says I am an AI language model created by OpenAI, uh, non-profit research organization. I was originally created. Probably this needs to change, but still, okay. And however, my capabilities have expanded, and now I assist in a variety of tasks such as language translation, chatbot, speech recognition, machine learning. Okay. So then I ask a simple question like, can you explain me difference difference between nuclear fusion and nuclear fission? Okay. Let's see what is the response. So it is actually generating the response over here, right? It says nuclear fusion refers to the process of merging atoms and nuclei together through the fusion of their protons. The process releases an enormous amount of energy and is the primary source of nuclear power. Whereas fission refers to the process of splitting atomic nuclei through the absorption of a neutron. This results in the release of energy in the form of heat and light. The main difference between the two is the way in which energy is produced. Okay, so it gives a good response over here right um, so what kind of use cases can we try with this particular uh, model right so in their technical report they say uh, you can do creative writing right uh, you can uh, do basically tasks like coding right so you can per uh, see you can also do uh, things like multi-turn dialogue code poems songs stories Right, so this is a Apache 2 license chatbot, massive curated corpus of assistant interactions, including word problems, code, all these things. Okay, so what they have done is in addition to 400k GPT for all examples previously, they also included new samples encompassing additional multi turn question answering samples, creative writing such as poetry, rap, short stories. They designed prompt templates to uh, create different scenarios for creative writing okay so prompt templates like write a creative story about in the style of some person okay so maybe we can try that out um so we can try out like um, you know let me refresh the context over here so clicking this actually um, refreshes the context then i say write a so write a story on uh let's say elon musk in the style of Shakespeare. Let's see what comes up. Wow, it writes in the form of uh, this thing. Elon, enter Elon Musk, stage left. Okay, so this is like a Shakespeare style, almost like a poem. Oh, whoa, it's me. That's such a man as I. Should be in this poor state of oh, for in this land. Enter his lords and mistresses stage right. So it kind of writes a story basically. Okay. So just uh, the resource usage. I have a 16 GB RAM machine uh, and it shows 11.3. I think the base uh, memory. Uh, I haven't checked it before starting this particular application. Maybe I have to check it. Uh, what could be the memory usage? Uh, let me do one thing uh, yeah it is generating this poem over here meanwhile let me just close this application okay 
Uh, let's see the memory drop. It goes to 6.3 GB over here. Right. And now let me just go over here and start GPT for all. And let's see how much memory it goes. I think the baseline was close to 6.3 or something. And now it is 9.8 or 10. Okay. Um, so mine is a 16 GB RAM machine. So if you have less RAM, then probably you might face some issues. Okay. I also have a GPU, 6 GB GPU, but I'm not sure if it is used for this purpose. Probably it's running on CPU. Okay. So now let's try out another case where let's try out a summarization, right? I will say like, uh, you know, write a short summary. Summary for below text text and then let me paste the text let's see what it generates let's see the usage cpu usage is uh, memory usage is around 10 gb now it's actually generating the response it was much faster last time i'm not sure yeah now it's picking up at least I'm hearing the CPU fan sound over here. I'm not sure whether it is using GPU over here. It is using GPU, but I'm not sure if it is for this purpose. But this would be a useful assistant for anyone. If the, you can download it on your desktop, you can install it and try out. Uh, it is still generating this summary. Yeah, it's generated it now. Model S, including a large touch screen display, forward facing camera, sender, air heat entertainment system. The Model X has a battery capacity of approximately 400 kVh. Where does this pull from? 400 kVh. Was it from this article? I don't see that. Okay. Hmm. So it's actually generating a summary. Okay. So this approximately 370 miles. I don't know where is it pulling this from? Maybe somewhere from the training data, not from this data. Somewhere in the training data, maybe it has pulled this information 370 miles. Okay. Right, so let me refresh and quickly try out a coding task. So I will say like I want Python code to delete to read to create. Okay, I'll say to create it should be easy. Create a pandas and us data frame from a csv file it's actually generating yeah read csv method of the pandas data frame to read csv files here's an example code and that's what i expected pd dot read csv yeah file dot csv simple Form some operations on the data frame. Okay. These additional things which are being generating. Okay, okay, okay. Save the data frame to a CSV file. Hmm. And as per your requirement. Okay, so this is the response which has been generated. Okay. Uh say if I say that I want a Python code to sort an array in the most efficient way let's see what response comes up sorted function in python to sort the array in the most efficient way okay here's an example and it gives the code okay so this is an example of uh, you know using GPT for all for code generation, right? 
So you can actually go and download this installer, install it on your machine and try out, you know, whether it's useful for you or not. This could become a very good chat GPT alternative, uh, provided they keep improving the models, right, with more and more training data. And this is open source. Okay. So I will link in the link to uh, GPT for all and the technical report of GPT for all, uh, basically J right which has been um, trained on the gpt j model okay uh, so you can read through this paper right and they say that uh, between gpt for all and gpt for all j we have spent about dollars 800 in open ai credit so far to generate the training samples okay and they have released those training samples and uh, gpt for all j can be trained in about eight hours on a dgx uh, a 100 8x 80 GB uh, graphics cards basically so 8 uh, 80 GB graphics cards a 800 graphics cards uh, this is a paper space DGX okay for a total cost of $200 okay so yeah you can read through this paper I hope this short video on GPT for all J is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video